the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So we have to use spiritual weapons. And that requires intelligence and wisdom and training in order to utilize spiritual we weapons effectively. So God has given us the power, for example, through the Word of God, which is also called the Sword of the Spirit. And the Word of God can dismantle, if you use it properly, the satanically energized strongholds that compose Mystery Babylon or the satanic temporary world system. The satanic temporary world system and Mystery Babylon presents an illusion of reality to men and women. It appeals to their weaknesses and its primary purpose is to blind people from salvation in Christ and who Jesus Christ is. <clears throat> so the way you deal with that is, first of all, you have to look at and uncover the truth. You have to gain knowledge and wisdom, because with knowledge and wisdom come power, come the ability to be effective the ability to dismantle Mystery Babylon. I'm not saying that we as men and women can all by ourselves dismantle Mystery Babylon. We see in the book of Revelation that God destroys or judges Mystery Babylon. It says, fallen, fallen regarding Mystery Babylon. Fallen, fallen is the great harlot. So you see a depiction of the fall of the satanic temporary world system known as Mystery Babylon. It's falling, it's crashing down, it's disintegrating, it's dissolving, it's vaporizing, whatever words you want to use. And why is Mystery Babylon, this temporal satanic matrix, this temporal uh, satanic world system, why is it falling? Why is it collapsing? Because there's only one true God in all of the universe and creation. And the true God is Jesus Christ, who's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Anybody else, any other being who aspires to be God, is a false God. He's a, a counterfeit, an imitator. So in Genesis we see that Satan lusted to be God. And so he has led, he initiated a revolution that he's heading up. Satan and one-third of the angels who became fallen angels have followed Satan along with the other demonic entities and every man and woman who has chosen to reject Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This constitutes Satan's army in the earth and to, to whatever degree in the invisible realm. Only God has the power to destroy mystery Babylon and Satan, the false prophet, and the Antichrist, which he does when you read the book of Revelation. However, this is the critical point. God's people, who are truly saved, who are truly following Jesus Christ, God's people have been required by God to join God in this final spiritual battle for the hearts and souls of mankind and eternity. Because the, the clock runs out, as you see pictorially on the cover of uh, the book I'm finishing up called Power From On High. When you see the cover, you can look at the cover at paulmcguire.us. Notice what time it is. Notice what time it is. And that, by the way, was that picture you'll see of the cover of Power from One Eye, that wasn't, you know, planned out. That, that just happened as we were walking. So, the critical thing here is that <clears throat> God waits to the last person that will, 
will come to him and receive the free gift of salvation in Jesus Christ. And then at time only known to God the Father, time has run out. And Christ, Jesus Christ, will return at the second coming, along with the armies of heaven. And he will descend into the valley of Megiddo, where Armageddon is, and all the nations of the world are so deceived that they'll be firing nukes at Jesus Christ at his second coming. Satan, the false prophet, the Antichrist, and all those who took the mark of the beast, along with Rephium and Nephilim of various kinds, they will fight against Christ at his second coming. But Jesus Christ is descending um, with the armies of heaven with him. And they will invade Megiddo or Armageddon. Jesus Christ will overcome and have victory over Satan and Satan's armies. And he will, Jesus Christ in victory, will send Satan or Lucifer into the lake of fire, which is a cosmic prison created by God, to lock in this tremendous evil. So the false prophet, the Antichrist, Satan, the fallen angels, the Nephilim, the Rephium, and all those who chose to receive or get the mark of the beast will all be sentenced for all eternity into the lake of fire. Now, God also knows everybody who is his. He knows everybody who has accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. He knows every person who is saved because their names are written in the book of life, which we read about in the book of Revelation. And all of those people, and many of you that are watching me or listening to me now, many of those people are they're saved. They know they're saved, and their names are written in the book of life. So when they die, unless they're alive when the Lord returns, in a nanosecond, if you're saved and you die, you will go instantly into heaven in a brand new, glorified, perfect body. And you will go instantly into heaven where you'll meet Jesus and everybody else who you knew or prayed for that was saved. There will be millions upon millions upon millions of people rejoicing in true oneness, in, in the most beautiful, awesome, dynamic place that ever was created, and that's the new heaven and the new earth. It will be far beyond even the Garden of Eden and Paradise. And Jesus Christ will be there, the angels will be there, the throne room of God will be there. And you and I will be joint heirs with Jesus. We will be reinstated in our authority to rule and reign with Jesus Christ forever. In fact, you and I have thrones reserved for us by God because God has invited us to rule and reign with him as joint heirs with Jesus for all eternity. And this new heaven, this new earth, and this new Jerusalem will come into being, but the only way the universe and creation and the new heaven, the new earth, and the new Jerusalem can be protected from the hideous evil of Lucifer, Satan, and all those that have followed him, both non-human and human, the only way to be protected from that is that God had to lock them for all eternity into God's supermax prison, which is the lake of fire. They are locked in there. It's, I believe it's in another dimension. You won't even see it or know it. It's gone. So that God's people and everyone who's saved will be safe and secure and joyous forever and ever and ever. So think about it and help us reverse engineer a Luciferian matrix to the degree that God will allow us to do that by communicating the truth. 
So visit paulmcguire.us. That's paulmcguire.us. Take advantage of all the free resources. Be sure to get your hands on the books that I've mentioned and save money with the financial discounts and help us spread this message far and wide. So visit paulmcguire.us. That's paulmcguire.us.